from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. We'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there, and he's down here safely. Down on his knees, what a shot. So he has the new record. And Mission Control shows recovery crew is at uh, Felix's location. Also, Mission Control shows uh, the balloon has been cut from the capsule and the capsule is on its descent. So in there fast, he has the world's record now for the highest jump by far. around 28,000 feet so more than 24 miles up successful after all this training all this work all this time there is the capsule being lowered it has been cut away from the balloon its parachute deploying automatically and the capsule comes down to preserve the data and the Pictures that are there. There's Strano's capsule altitude is family uh, celebrating. Four thousand feet. Mrs. Baumgartner, friends, Felix Baumgartner Sr., his father, all celebrating here at Mission Control. There's the recovery helicopter very near where he landed, out to the east of Roswell. Yeah, we have unofficial word there on some of those those statistics. It was a four minute, and uh, this was unofficial as they got it in mission control. Four minute and 22 second feet and descending. drop in free fall. So that would not break the Kittinger record for that. Would not break the record for the elapsed time of the free fall. And we'll see, did he break Mach? Those were speeds up in the 700 mile an hour mark. So I think that's unofficial and calculated a bit differently than the instrumentation aboard his pressure suit. Feet but that looks like he probably broke Mark. Mach, excuse me. But we'll see. That has to wait. And he broke the record, as we mentioned, for the highest manned balloon flight. So after some tense moments, the issue in flight with the visor, which was successfully resolved, there you have it. Aerospace history has been made today. Austrian pilot and parachutist Felix Baumgartner has done it. Made Red Bull Stratus mission to the edge of space a part of the record books. A successful climax to years of careful planning and development. Along the way there were setbacks, snags in development of the equipment, weather delays, but today, Baumgartner and the Red Bull Stratos team are celebrating. Celebrating on the ground there at the scene now. More celebrations will follow here at Mission Control. So we're still awaiting final confirmation, but unofficially, new world records have been set for the highest free fall ever, the fastest free fall ever, as well as the highest ever manned balloon flight. And today was also a big win for Careful science, as the Red Bull Stratos team collected 60, valuable data that could ultimately help improve the safety of space travel and 
enable high altitude emergency bailouts from spacecraft. The coverage doesn't end here. For more updates, including reaction from Baumgartner and the team, we encourage you to visit redbullstratos.com. So for now, this is Robert Hager saying so long from Roswell, New Mexico.